All right, today we're looking at uh, TMT Framework Pascal Compilers. Now it looks like this used to support uh, Windows, uh, DOS 32, Linux, and OS 2, but if we look at the uh, current release, uh, it only supports Windows and DOS 32. And there's a, a downloadable, I guess you wouldn't call it trial because you can't test the Windows uh, 32 compiler but you can test the um, the DOS version uh, and uh, that's what I'm going to show today it's uh, it's an old version 3.9 and uh, so far from my testing it looks pretty good so I'm just going to run the uh, the demos uh, let's take a look at the the graph demos because they're the most interesting I'm just going to list all the EXEs and uh, we'll go, I guess, in order. So this first one's called RD. And it just draws lines. Not much to it. And next one, let's go FRAC 3D. And it's, uh, yeah, what it says, uh, Fractal 3D demo. Pretty quick. and GFX mouse. This one uh, draws uh, a big mouse pointer and you can select the colors and you could draw a shape and it, let's choose another color and if we right click over the enclosed area we can flood uh, fill paint and uh, let's do some more. Let's choose different colors here. There we go. And there's a, a version of, if you have ever seen the, the Borland uh, graphics demo, uh, this is uh, a variation of it that supports a, a lot more modes basically. And it doesn't use the uh, BGI interface, it uses a, just its internal BGI compatible library. And so let's take a look. Let's just run things. Uh, let's enable scrolling. So horizontal scrolling, vertical scrolling, and let's go. Let's do five if that's supported. And so let's try six here. And let's try one. And so if you've ever seen the uh, Borland graphics demo, it's very similar, except this has a few additional things. If you notice the, uh, the little spaceship, it when it goes over the, this area here, you can see it's using a transparent put. So you can specify what the uh, transparent color can be and your, your put image will be automatically transparent for that color. And that's it. And we can do also in 320 by 200, which is good for games. Now, whether this is faster than uh, pure DOS or free Pascal's implementation, I'm not sure, but it looks pretty quick. And I do like the, the, the scrolling option. I didn't see that before in any... Uh, BGI compatible library, but this has a scrolling option. Okay. So I think we covered all the demos. Nope. Uh, we got Hexagon, which doesn't work right now, but it worked before, which is strange. Uh, let's try it. Does it work in? Yeah, it works in in regular DOS box. So let's uh, we 
could zoom in and zoom out. And let's run the last demo splines. So this looks like a a pretty interesting demo. And there's also another graph demo here. Let's go into MCGLib. And let's do test one. And so this also does a, a transparent blitz, so it should be good for games. And let's try test two. And uh, there is an editor that comes with this. And, uh, Let's see if I can find it. So this is the editor. It's a, it's a window e Windows editor, but it compiles to DOS only. So um, I don't see any options to to change anything. But the default compilation is to DOS. So if we open up uh, one of the programs, let's try test. We go build uh, and make. And if we can see here, it compiles it OK. We can even drop to DOSBox X here and just make sure it actually compiles. So I'm going to delete both and come back to our editor. And let's compile again. And if we go back and Let's try this again because uh, I don't believe DOSBox X supports uh, automatic updating of, uh, of files um, so it doesn't see the new compiled EXEs. And there we go, there's test one with the uh, the current date. So that's the one we just compiled. And there we go. Now if you want to compile this through command line, you can still do it. Uh, you just specify the uh, path of the uh, command line compiler. And it's in the bin folder and it's TMT PC. So if we run that, it looks very similar to uh, Turbo Pascal or Free Pascal command line compilers, so similar options, and uh, we can just do test one and it'll compile it. So the licensing for this it's uh, free, but you can't produce any commercial applications, so that's the only limitation. 
and we can see this version was released in 2002 even though the uh, the website seems current um, the this program hasn't been updated for a long time but I guess if you're still programming in DOS it really doesn't matter all right so I think that's it for this video uh, thanks for watching